Hello and welcome to Bricks Videos. This is a channel where we answer all your questions related to property buying. Today's video is on GST on apartment purchase and GST refund upon cancellation of the booking. Are you looking to buy a house? Do you know the GST charges applicable on house purchase? Can you get a refund from the builder in the case of booking cancellation? In today's video, let us take a quick look at the answers for all these questions. The GST Council during the month of March 2019 reduced the GST rate on under construction houses. Aspiring home buyers could breathe a sigh of relief as the GST Council has lowered the GST rates from 12% to 5% and from 8% to 1% for affordable housing on the agreemental value applicable from 1st of April 2019. However, the benefit of ITC has been taken away. ITC or Input Tax Credit simply means the tax benefit a taxpayer can avail while paying tax on the output by deducting the tax that has already been paid previously on the input. When it comes to ongoing projects or projects started before April 1st, 2019, builders have been given the option to either continue with the 12% with ITC and 8% with ITC on affordable housing or switch to 5% and 1% on affordable housing without ITC. However, the builder must have chosen to adopt any of the two GST rates before May 10th 2019 and in the case of projects that begin on or after April, no such option is available. The affordable housing concept is based on the carpet area. Affordable houses in terms of carpet area is defined as a house with carpet area of up to 90 square meter in non-metropolitan cities and up to 60 square meter in metropolitan cities with a ceiling value of rupees 45 lakh in both cases. Metropolitan cities include Mumbai Metropolitan Region, Delhi NCR, Bengaluru, Kolkata, Hyderabad and Chennai. GST is applicable on properties that have not yet received the completion or occupancy certificate and ready to move in apartments are exempt from the GST. In the case of booking cancellation, a builder must provide a credit note to the buyer and claim GST as per provisions under section 34. This brings us to the end of this video. We hope we have answered your queries relating to this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and we respond to every comment we receive. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and share our videos if you like our work. And don't forget to watch our related videos.